again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the D-Home, D-I-H-O-O-M brand, their Wi-Fi Spotlight Solar Rechargeable Security Camera Outdoor System Wireless 1080p video with siren alarm, two-way communications, no wiring required, and artificial detection. It is IP65 rated, which means that it could handle water jets from any angle. I'm going to show a slide about that. This is an outdoor 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi camera and super easy setup. Home security camera system works with 2.4 gigahertz, not, not 5G. It's equipped with dual antennas, as you can see right here. They're loaded antennas for enhanced Wi-Fi signal, offering more stable wireless connections so that you can have it work anywhere on your house. You basically use an app called Vicome app, V-I-C-O-H-O-M-E, and uh, very impressed because that app does get really high ratings, over 4.9 stars, which is unusual for an app. You register your account, you connect the camera to your home Wi-Fi about three minutes or so. If you can, you want to possibly put this under an eave so that it's not directly in the rain and sun, but you don't have to, it is waterproof. The solar panel can go anywhere and it has this nice long extension piece on here that plugs into the camera so that these two could be separated by several feet. So this allows you to personalize the area settings to focus on the places you care about. You can move the camera using this included mount, lock it in place, and it has three openings for the screws and the solar panel has its own holder right there, comes with the hardware where you can mount it into a wall, drywall, or brick. And the screws have the little reset pin right there. And a charging cable, the USB A to micro USB. We're going to show you how to use that. There are intelligent algorithms on this that can distinguish people, pets, and vehicles, and classified push notifications to prevent invalid information. This should provide 365 day full operation using the solar panel. Internally, it has a really large battery. It has a 9,000 milliamp hour battery, four different cells, lithium ion. Most of the competition is two or 3,000 milliamp hours. So this has a really huge storage and that's gonna keep this thing running for a really long time. So you don't have to worry about it. The solar panel, you're gonna try and mount it into the best position where the sun goes across the sky east and west. And if it's not perfect, it'll still work because this battery is really large and it'll keep this thing running for a full year. This has clear two-way talk and intelligent spotlight alarm. The spotlight is up on top right here. There is some infrared LEDs and regular LEDs. And here is the sensor that's detecting motion so that it detects when somebody goes in front of it. There is noise canceling and a built-in microphone on here that will allow you to communicate to somebody that's on the front of your door or your back sliding doors. The sound is generated on the bottom of the unit. There is a little micro speaker right there so that you can communicate to anybody that's your, your front or your side door. This is triggered by human motion of uh, somebody walking up. Maybe they're delivering a package or maybe they're doing something illegal, whatever, that's gonna pick it up. And the night vision will include some color because this light will come on and it'll illuminate the night vision, allowing you to see any burglars or criminals uh, uh, while they're approaching in color for identification. Now this does produce 1080p video and there is a micro SD card you can put on there if you want to have local storage or you can go into the cloud using this company's app. Now you can get a lot of details with this. The resolution is very sharp and it'll capture everything clearly. That way you see more details and you get notified when somebody is approaching your house. The videos can be viewed anytime from iOS or Android mobile devices. Device sharing allows your family members up to eight users to view surveillance cameras. Now I'm gonna be setting it up with two phones. I'm gonna be using this phone right here, which is an Android base, and I'll be using an Apple SE also. What's included with this great kit is permanent free seven day loop cloud storage and advanced AI personal vehicle detection out the wire security camera supports a free seven day loop cloud storage no subscriptions required 
or local SD cards I mentioned, up to 128 gigabytes you can put in here, you buy that separately. It's free to play back the cloud video in the past seven days. You can also subscribe for more services from the company if you'd like to. Now the unit comes with a quick guide and a real nicely written user manual. We're going to be following that to set this whole camera up. I want to show you the included mount. This is the camera mount. There are three holes for the screws. When you loosen this up, the ball joint moves freely. And then when you tighten and go clockwise, it locks in place. You can see there's a rubber gasket on there. You could totally adjust this and lock this in to the bottom of the camera. And it's very similar for the black one for the solar panel. The same thing, you lock it in place and rotate this against the gasket to hold it in place. On the back of the solar panel, there is a 1 quarter 20 right there. That allows you to mount that. And on the camera, there is a 1 quarter 20 on the back also. When you first get the system, you want to take this silicone sleeve off. And here you can see you get access to the power button right there and the micro SD card there and the micro USB port right there. And there is a mechanical reset button if you had to. When you first get your camera, you want to take the included USB-A to micro USB, plug it in the bottom of the camera and charge it for 8 to 12 hours. There is a little indicator right there if the camera's picking it up, and that indicator will go from red to green. Green that it means that it's fully charged. Now, after you've charged the unit using the included cable, and you get that green light, you want to put the silicone cover back on like that, and it has a little opening there, and that allows you to gain access to the micro USB port. The sound is generated on the bottom of the unit. There is a little micro speaker right there so that you can communicate to anybody that's your, your front or your side door. Now while the unit is charging, that little indicator right there has different modes according to the manual right there. So in, when it's blue, it's the working mode, which we haven't turned on yet. Yellow is charging, so it's still charging. Green is fully charged. And when there's no light, it's in a sleep shutdown mode. When it's flashing blue, it means it's uh, pairing. Now, because it's winter time right now, it's about 10 degrees outside and it's snowing heavily, I'm not going to be able to mount this system. So what I did is I put them on tripods here so I can do this review and show you the setup and operation of this. Okay, so after a couple hours, it fully charged. You can see that the LED is now green. So we're going to put the app on two different phones. We have an iPhone Apple SE and there is the app right there. And I'm also going to uh, scan the code right there and get it from my Android phone. So I scanned the barcode and now there is the app. I'm going to install it on each one of these phones. So here's the Android product. It says sign up for a new account and the Apple product this is the same thing right there. We're going to sign up for both of these. So we registered both phones and I got this message. Congratulations, you have successfully registered. Please add a camera now. So they're asking us to turn the camera on. So we're going to remove this sleeve right here. Please long press the power button. And this power button, we're going to long press it. And then I hit uh, the add camera now, follow the screen directions. So it's beeping, it's saying, uh, hearing the beeping sound, and there is a beeping sound coming, and then we're going to go to the next step. And the next, the next step, it's um, add a new camera, and it has the Wi-Fi right there, we're going to pick the correct one. Now it's still beeping. It's asking us to scan the QR code with the camera. So here we're going to pick the front door. Upgrade in process. And it's doing some kind of an upgrade, update on the camera. 
So the camera just completed the update and there was an update message on there. Now it's asking me to allow access. What did you make so I, I skipped past the 30 day trial and uh, you can see right now it's the playing a video with detected motion of us in the studio right here and it's playing that video. So the menu does have settings for motion detection, artificial analysis, notification setting, activity zone, and sleep settings, and firmware information also. So right now, it's connected to uh, both phones, and my wife's gonna turn on the light, and she could also speak. What? She could also speak. And you can hear the little speaker on the bottom right there is coming on really clearly, which is nice. You can also have an alarm go on when it detects motion. And the app seems to be really nicely written also. So after testing the DIH OOM Wi-Fi Solar Rechargeable Spotlight Security Camera, what's my overall opinion about it? Well, setup was relatively straightforward and the app worked really well. This thing is a good buy. It seems to be a solid product. I love the way it looks. I love the mounts it comes with, the solar panel. It's just the perfect size. The solar panel is not too big, not too small. The camera looks really high tech. It's all sealed from the water and the elements and all the cables included in the mounts. So this is a good product, a great value, and the app works really well. So I'm gonna give it a full five star rating. Please remember hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you learn the new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with all your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.